Today, we're going to be looking at the Orange Pi 5 and how to perform face detection using an AI inference engine. And so in this case, what we've got over here is I've got an Orange Pi 5 and we will be streaming with a webcam trying to detect human faces. We'll be using this with a Python environment and OpenCV. So get out your Orange Pi, get your webcam, Join me and let's get started. All right, so let's get started with a quick overview of how this project works, and then we'll go into the demonstration. First of all, as you've seen in previous tutorials with FPGA-based AI inference, uh, AI applications for face detection, you've noticed that they were pretty complex. We didn't get into a lot of the details of how they're implemented, but there's a lot in the pipeline in order to design, develop, and build the convolutional neural network. In this example, we're going to take a massive, massive shortcut powered by OpenCV. And this has actually been around for a very long time, uh, OpenCV relatively speaking. Uh, it's very, very, very popular framework that people use in order to do computer vision, open computer vision, OpenCV. And so we're going to leverage that heavily and we're going to either use a CPU or a GPU in this case, and we'll go through those details here. The code itself is pretty simple. We just need to make sure we have all of the dependencies installed. So we're using an Orange Pi, and I have it on my desk over here. We're gonna be demonstrating that in real time. I'm using an Orange Pi 5, and that's running the Ubuntu 24.04. You can consult the uh, previous tutorial that I've used with getting started with the Orange Pi 5 and the Rockchip 3588 processor. Uh, that tutorial is also live. You can take a look at that one as well in written form or video form. Once you get that up and running, we need a few things that we need to install. Now, again, you can run this on any other type of powerful embedded device like a Raspberry Pi 5, possibly even a Raspberry Pi 4 even earlier. Uh, you can run this even on a laptop. Uh, this is built for Linux. You can potentially do this on Mac and Windows, but I haven't put this tutorial together really specifically for those. So you want a baseline on an Ubuntu system. So Ubuntu based system. So Raspbian would also be good. Debian is fine as well. So what you want to first do is just make sure you use the package manager to install all of the necessary libraries, things like Python, uh, OpenCV as a library. And then we're also going to look at a different utility just to double check and test the webcam. So first of all, with your Debian package, you want to do an update and an upgrade. And this is all in the repository readme. So gitlab.com forward slash AI dash examples forward slash orange dash pi dash face dash detection, as you can see right over here. So this is the top level readme. Again, it's two files. It's very, very simple. And uh, the top level readme kind of walks you through all the different dependencies that you need to install and documentation on that. And after that, uh, we install the pip package. Theoretically, Python 3-OpenCV should contain that. But if you're not installing that or you're using a different distro, maybe you want to install that pip package for Python at this point. <clears throat> and then once you have that all up and running, you can test it and verify. And again, we'll, we'll go through this whole process. But you import the uh, CV2 library, the computer uh, vision, OpenCV. And then you can basically test to see if you have OpenCL, meaning do you have access to a GPU? Um, and if you do, we can pass the use GPU flag, which we're going to get to in a second. Um, otherwise, you can use a CPU for this. And if there's not that big of a difference between the two, um, at least when I was testing on the Orange Pi 5. Maybe for other devices, there would be. But in this case, it was kind of semi-negligible. And then the last thing is this webcam detection package. So this will tell you if you have your webcam installed or maybe you're using a Raspberry Pi camera with the ribbon cable that you wanna uh, drop directly into your embedded device. You can use that as well, but um, this will uh, essentially tell you all the different um, media devices that, uh, that do media video streaming. Now, the script itself is pretty simple. We'll, we will go through that code. Um, to run it, there's two ways to run it, python face detection.py or python face detection.py 
dash dash use GPU, and that will enable OpenCL for um, GPU acceleration. So let's go into the code for a second here. And again, this is the repository and the readme. And the, the code is fairly well documented. As you can see, there's more comments in the code than there is actual code, but I'll walk through the basic steps of the code just so you are familiar with the process. So first of all, um, as you enter the code, it's parsing the arguments. Um, there's only one argument in this case, use GPU. That's a flag to say, do we want to use uh, OpenCL with GPU acceleration? So if that argument has been set, then we uh, check it and set the OpenCL. So, and then we'll have a little debug print statement that says, okay, we're set up for GPU acceleration. Otherwise, it'll say, okay, you know what? Um, if, if it didn't actually work or something failed there, then it'll kind of backpedal and say, you know what? Something's not working. We're going to run on a CPU. Or you can just not set the flag at all and say, um, and it will just run on the CPU. Now, um, the next step is loading the pre-trained pre model, uh, the HAR cascade classifier, which we'll come back to. But that is basically loading an XML file. This is an XML file that I pulled from online. I did not modify anything. This is completely um, using their uh, training. It's got, uh, as you can see, their full banner and everything like that. I did not touch anything. This is exactly how it came. And there's plenty of other uh, models that you can use with OpenCV. So this is untouched. Thank you very much um, to the uh, developer who put this together. Um, it's a big deal. That saves a lot of time. And then as we, after we load that, we now initialize the webcam and you know some error handling in case it doesn't initialize, and then we go into a loop. So at this point right now, we've basically done all of our setup and we're ready to start doing the processing. The loop, as you can see, is really just a couple directions to the system, a couple programmatic steps, and then it just keeps loop looping and looping and looping until we give it, you know, um, like a, we hit the queue or we queue button or we cancel the script or whatever it is. So let's just run through it really, really quickly. And as you can see, there's plenty of comments to help you follow what's going on. So first, we want to capture the frame from the web cam stream. So we're streaming in the device and we are capturing that frame. As you can see, cap, that's the name for the video capture, uh, as you can see right over here. And then in order to enable processing to happen a little bit faster, we convert it to grayscale. Um, it's just a little bit easier to do face detection. We don't need those colors. It's kind of unnecessary. And to speed up the processing, uh, it's helpful. So we convert it to grayscale. And then after that, we perform the detection. And that is using the classifier, as you can see, face cascade, cascade classifier. It's now applying that kind of like machine learning algorithm to the images. And so basically what we say is, if um, we find a face, if a face has been detected, then draw this little square with the blue box around it. As you can see, um, what, that we set up with the with the colors over here. So we draw that little um, box. If you see uh, 255, so it's um, it's two to the power of eight, so eight bits, um, uh, which is 256 zero to 255, and uh, each eight bit number represents a color. So blue, green, and red. As if you've probably heard RGB. But this is blue, green, and red. So this is all blue. It's eight bits of just like blue, full blue, zero uh, green, and zero red. So we're not mixing colors. So that's just a straight blue, um, if you're confused about what this is. And so we're going to create that box with a thickness of two over here. And then that box is going to be kind of following on top of the face. So you'll see in the demo that it's a blue box will be around the face. And then after that, we show that, so we're processing it, creating that image, and then we're going to show that image and then wait for somebody to hit the Q button to quit. And if they don't, then we just keep going again and again and again and again in a loop. Very, very simple. Again, grab the image, run the classifier on top of it, and then uh, draw a blue box for whichever has met that match of a face detection. Now, the horror cascade, I'm not going to try and 
give you a rundown of how this all works. This has been a trained model. This is a very, very popular way <clears throat> of doing OpenCV. You can find all sorts of different OpenCV detection. So like uh, object detection, like if you want to find an apple or fruit, fruit classifiers or road sign classifiers, all of these you can find in the public domain. A lot of people spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, like this author over here, to really put these together and, um, and make it free for everybody to use, which is super, super awesome. It's really, really nice that they've done that. So this I can leverage as well for this little hobby project. All I do is I drop this XML file, as you can see. I literally just downloaded it, dropped it into my repository, and just load it. And it's able to classify a face, just like you would a road sign or you name it. So uh, that's pretty much it with the code. We're going to jump into the demo, and you'll see how simple this really is. So the summary over here is like, with just a couple lines of code, we were able to do something that seemingly seems super complex with a neural network, especially on a pipelined process um, system from scratch, like an FPGA, where you have to constantly pipeline and bring in uh, each kind of matrix, multiply all the numbers, and then drop it back into memory, and then keep going back and forth and back and forth as you get through the convolutional neural network. Um, this is much, much simpler, much faster, as you will see. and uh, and just a couple lines of code. So uh, let's dive in to the example. We're going to demonstrate the example. And again, it's pretty, pretty simple. So first thing I want to do is I want to demonstrate how to do all the different testing and make sure that your, your setup is done correctly. So I'm going to copy this, I'm going to run Python. I run paste. OK, so if you could see over here, it says that I have open CL enable. This is on my uh, Orange Pi device. So I'm SSH'd and remotely logged into my Orange Pi device. That's good. And let's quit the Python shell interpreter. Now let's also double check, make sure that the video camera is set up. So I've got my Nexigo N60 cheap webcam um, that I have over here that's up and running. I can see the lights on right over here. Great. Now let's run the example. So I can use GPU mode or CPU mode. I'm going to do both so you can see the difference. OK, so it's going to open up. And here you get to see my secret green screen. That's how I am nothing behind me. This is uh, you're going behind the scenes. So as you can see, it's detecting my face right now. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, and it can do that detection. It's pretty good. Look how it sometimes will might get like my, oh yeah, see, sometimes it has like a hand. I don't know, maybe I can make a face, a wolf. No, um, but it, it's generally pretty good. And this is using the onboard CPU of the Orange Pi itself. Now let's do a uh, GPU. Use GPU. Let's see if there's any difference. Well, it's doing my mouth. Uh, it, it, it's pretty negligible. I mean, OK, it this is definitely tracking a little better, but for for the most part, I mean, it's not especially for such a simple example. The lighting is really good here. I have my ring light. Um, I've got my my background over here. Not tons of shadowing. It's pretty easy for the camera to detect this. But still, I mean, you can see that it's like it's uh, it's nice to be able to to be able to run such a simple example. Um, comparing it to what we did with the FPGA. So as you can see, that works as well. So that's really uh, all of it. Again, we ran through the code. We iterated over um, the details. And you saw as the example over here, it's very simple, um, very trivial. And that's kind of really nice. OpenCV has really come a long way. And uh, AI inference uh, in general has come a really long way. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'd like to see how you, uh, how you run this example yourself. So leave some comments. Let me know how this went for you as well. So today we looked at taking an Orange Pi 5 and a USB enabled webcam, streaming live feeds of your face and being able to detect that using an AI inference engine. This was significantly simpler than what we've seen before on an FPGA using a convolutional neural network. And in this case, we used OpenCV in Python uh, with a cascade a filter and what we were able to do was 
very, very quickly assemble a script and run in real time using the GPU or the onboard CPU to filter out and figure out what a human face looks like and draw a little square blue box around it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out the rest of the videos in this channel. Hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the rest of the videos in this channel and definitely hit that like button. Thanks for watching.